Everyone, and welcome to my How I Mix Skin Tone in Watercolors video. I've been meaning to make this video for a little while, so I thought I would come back to my channel after a bit of a break over the holidays and um, show you how I usually do my skin tone. So um, I always start with three colors, and there's the three primary. Skin tone is a neutral color. I'm talking about skin tone for Caucasian to um, you know, pale to um, olive tone to kind of uh, Asian, Asian kind of skin tone. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, black or very dark skin tone. So it's always a mix of three colors and uh, the three colors are of course the primaries. It comes down to knowing a little bit about um, color theory and our complementary colors work together so and now you create complementary colors so complementary colors are always created from the two uh, primary colors that are next to them so uh, yellow and blue creates green and yellow and pink or red uh, we call that red but it's actually pink it's actually magenta uh, creates orange and when you mix for example orange and blue or uh, green and um, pink or magenta you get a kind of brownish color and that's what I use for my skin tone. I never use pre-mixed colors because I find that I get a, a better range of, uh, of colors and a bit of variation from painting to painting. It's not always the same color and I like that. And I can also make a skin tone more orange, more pink, more green as I've done in certain paintings. Uh, depending on the feel I want to give. So here I've prepared a, 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 how can I say, an, a, a, um, a sheet where I'm going to do a layered skin tone on the left and a premix skin tone on the right. So here I'm mixing uh, yellow and magenta and with a bit of blue and it takes me a couple of tries to get it to the shade I want. So it's a, it's a bit on the pink side. Sometimes I will not like it so pink. I will Sometimes I will add more uh, yellow to it. But it's, 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 a, it's a skin tone that I could use definitely and I'm going to use it at the end of this video. So now I'm trying that because in the layered um, skin tone I want things to be dry. Now my issue with this paper is that it starts lifting um, after a few uh, layers so I had trouble uh, layering my colors with um, m better um, uh, watercolor paper uh, you would get a much smoother much more appealing result but it worked uh, you do see a little bit of blue and a little bit of, ye of yellow in this layering and that's kind of what you want if you want a more painterly effect or even a more natural effect the skin is not always one tone uh, you will see blemishes and veins under the, under the skin so being able to see a little bit of blue or a little bit of pink or a little bit of yellow is, uh, is can be quite attractive so you saw in the scan what it looked like now i'm gonna mix different skin tone with different colors for this one i'm using prussian blue and sandal red sandal red is kind of a, uh, a proper red uh, it's still a bit pink, but it's it's much more to the yellow or orange side than uh, magenta was, and it gives me quite a grayish tone. And I'm mixing uh, French ultramarine with quinacridone gold and uh, a little bit of magenta, and that's a skin tone that I would mix uh, on a regular basis. I quite like this skin tone, and of course you can add a little bit more blue, a little bit more pink. Um, and to get uh, something you like. This one is alizarin crimson and turquoise, which is on the, on the greener side, uh, which, gi which gives a very pretty uh, lavender. Um, and I'm using a yellow ochre, which is yellow is the complementary color to uh, purple, and which gives a, a skin tone that I really, really like. I'm definitely gonna use this one again. And I'm using, uh, now I'm starting with greens because you can of course jumpstart your mixing by using a green or an orange. I've done that on numerous occasions. So this one I used Capri Green and Sandal Red. Capri Green is a very vibrant green, very bluish green, very bright, I love it. And now I'm using Sap Green and Magenta, which is, which is also a color I use uh, very frequently. And you're gonna see in the scan the different skin tone. Now you've got to take into account the difference into the scan and the real life and the screen and all of that. But 
you can see what color you can get and the variation and also uh, also how the colors are gonna sediment and and separate because some pigment like um I know I do some skin tone uh, with a color called Rose of Ultramarine by um, Daniel Smith and it's a mix of French Ultramarine and um, primary red magenta and it separates when it dries so you get more blues and more pink in different parts of the, the painting and that can make a quite interesting um, base for a skin tone. Now I'm going to show you how I usually sketch and paint um, faces and portrait. Now I don't do realistic portrait, I do illustrative style portrait. Um, it might be a bit, you might work a bit differently when you work uh, realistic portrait. First you would start from a reference, uh, either real life or a picture. Here I don't, I'm not using a, a reference. And I've only sped up the video twice so you can see, you can get a feel of how fast or slow, I don't know, I sketched. This one was pretty fast, even uh, for me. I'm not a very fast sketcher yet. It comes with practice. I'm a, a lot faster than I used to be. That um, a year ago or two years ago would have taken me, I don't know, half an hour to sketch a, a face like that. But I didn't struggle too much with the eyes, which is usually the point where I tend to be a bit nitpicky and redo them. I think I already, only redid the left eye which is actually a right eye once which is pretty good going for me um, and here I'm lifting my paper to see if they're aligned and if they're um, you know uh, in the right place um, usually the face is about four and a half to five eyes wide and there's an, an, an eye width between the eye so you could put three eyes next to each other um, in the middle of the face uh, to have the eyes in the right place at least uh, horizontally vertically it's a bit different uh, if you want me to do a video on how I sketch faces just let me know and I will be happy to do that um, I can do it in real time as well and uh, talk uh, my way through so yeah going back to mixing skin tone you can mix skin tone from any color on your palette. You don't have to use the colors I've used there. Um, as long as you're using um, primary colors together, you will get uh, a neutral color. Now, it all depends on uh, which side of the spectrum they are. If they're cool colors, if you mix a cool yellow with uh, uh, warmer blues and reds, you might get a more grayish color and if you if you it's it, color theory is, a, is easy and difficult at the same time the the easy part is the complementary colors and how they work together but the difficult part is being able to recognize which colors are actually cold version of the main category they belong to so each yellows are either cool yellows or warm yellows each reds or pink are, are warm pink or cold pink and same for the blues so when you get muddy colors for example is when you mix um, cool and warm version of the colors together and you get um, something that is not as vibrant now you can like that and I've used that in a few paintings um, when I want something more subtle more vintage looking something that has you know that gives the feeling of being from old times where, when they weren't using such pure pigment as we are now. Uh, but if you want vibrant and fresh colors, you need to be careful about this kind of thing. And that that is important when you do skin tone as well. I know it's a bit confusing. If you've got any question, just ask in the, in the comments down below. Now I've been taping my sketch, as you can see it didn't take me very long, I think it took about three or four minutes here, so that's about eight minutes maybe to sketch the whole thing. Um, and I'm gonna start painting the face, um, the skin, and uh, I always do my first layer wet on wet. Now I'm still using this crappy paper, um, I will put what it is in the description box. Um, my issue with this paper is that you can't layer and I work in a lot of layers. Here I did maybe four to five layers, which is very few layers, but I was getting annoyed with the, the paper lifting and peeling and disintegrating under my strokes. Uh, 
on a normal painting I will do anywhere from 15 to 20 layers on the, the skin and everywhere else anyway. So I always start, um, when I put my pigment down, I always start where it is the darkest, so under the hair, under the neck, around the nose, where I know that it's going to be um, darker, so that if the paint doesn't move, it doesn't, um, it's not so important, uh, it's where it's supposed to be anyway. Now I'm working my shading um, wet on wet, and I'm using the same mix, I'm just using it more concentrated. And I'm leaving it to dry after I've finished the ears because I don't want it to run and I want to be able to control where I'm going to put the shading next. Um, all in all I think this painting took me about an hour and I spent actually most of the time on the hair um, rather than the skin. I, while I'm very, not very confident, but while I'm feeling good about painting and shading faces. Uh, hair is still a bit of a mystery for me. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Anyway, here I'm adding more shading. Uh, and I want the light to come from the right side of the paper, which is the left side. Oh, it's very confusing. So that's why I'm adding shading mostly on the left side of the painting. But also a little bit around the cheek uh, and, and the jaws to make it look uh, three-dimensional a little bit. Now it's an illustration, I'm not looking necessarily for realistic and I'm also looking for speed here. So I just want a feel of the face. And I'm gonna start with the hair and I mix magenta with primary blue, which is called cyan, which is one of my favorite blues. And um, um, I do that in most of my painting. I reuse colors I've used for the skin tone, uh, for the hair, the clothes, the eyes, so that the, the picture, uh, the image I'm getting at the end is quite coherent and everything fits and belongs. Now you can use more colors than me and you can find ways to make your, your painting work. Uh, it's just the way I like to work. You don't have to do that. It's just me. <laughs> Right, and now I'm doing the hair. I'm, I'm using a liner brush and uh, because I wanted it to be quite quick and I didn't want to spend a lot of time on painting the hair and in the end I, paint, I spent about 45 minutes doing the hair, but you know. Um, everything comes with practice. I I'm pretty sure I would be much faster if I were do doing flowy hair more often. I, I usually do quite abstract hair on this kind of portrait. Uh, so I like practice with kind of more realistic looking hair. Um, and yeah, as I said, I didn't want to spend an hour on it. And here I'm using cyan and then I'm dropping some purple. So that what that does is that's pushing the the paint to the edges of the circle. So that gives the, the irises the, this look of a dark ring around the eye, which, which is what you want for eyes, at least for me. And here more purple for the eyeliner and the eyebrows and around the nose to do a bit of shading and uh, yeah we're pretty much there a little bit more shading because I felt that she was not contrasted enough a little bit of uh, red violet for the cheeks red violet is a current favorite of mine I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use that in one of my up upcoming painting uh, and it's a mix of magenta and cyan. You can do different tone of red violet. I'm signing it and then I'm doing some eye lighting, not much, uh, very simple in the eyes to give her a bit of light. On the nose, the lips, uh, a little bit in the, in the hair and that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the description box below, or no, not in the comment box below. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye everyone.